What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Darkest Dungeon. My name is Splattercat, I'm happy to have you here today as we hang out in the Crumpington Estate, hopefully like making some sort of recovery. It's, it's tough when you get defeated, and we were roundly defeated, or squarely defeated, it doesn't matter what shape you throw into the, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter what shape you throw into this whole thing, we were defeated, badly, in a painful, painful sense. And so for right now, I'm willing to bet that if we could level up one of these guys, so Buron, if we could level him up, we could go straight after the Hag pretty soon and bang our head against it one more time, but we'll have to wait a little bit. We'll have to wait a little bit. So for Buron right now, let's retrain him with what little cash we have. Our, our cash flow is a little bit low, which is unfortunate. We need Mark for Death. We need Finish Him. And actually, just buy everything. Whatever. We have no choice right now. We'll buy everything at the moment. And then we will rearrange these entirely. I don't tend to use his stun bomb ability. I don't find it to be that good. I, It's alright. I mean, it shuffles the one person around in the line. So it's like the disorienting bomb that the, the Plague Doctor has. It does the exact same thing. Except instead of putting Plague on somebody, it stuns them and moves them around. So it's your option. I mean, it's whatever you would prefer. I'll probably go for something along the lines of this right here, maybe when we go after the hag, because the mark may not be so useful. But, well, I guess you could mark the pot, and maybe that would work, unless it clears its debuffs every single turn. Anyways, for right now, the reason being is that finish him allows him to jump from the back lines and just, like, nail people over and over and over again. It's actually a pretty sweet ability. We'll take come hither right now, I guess, though. And so our next goal is going to be to get out and in here. Please give me a good mission spread. If I got a bad mission spread right now, I'm going to cry. We got an okay mission spread, 100% of rune battles. I think we could make that happen. I wish we could get some more ruins. We need some more busts, and we need some more other stuff. Like, the busts are a must right now. I don't think I've done swine prints just yet. I don't think I've done swine prints, but I'll have to fiddle around with them. I think it's like a little I think it's like a little pig and like a big pig or something like that. Maybe I have. I don't remember. I don't know. I do too much on a weekly basis, and so I tend to forget these things. We've got... Let's actually... Let's do something a little bit more risky. You can fight from the front line, correct? Good. So if you can fight from the front line, what I'd like to bring you along for... Yeah. Let's go right there. This is going to be a little bit of a sketch fight. It's going to be a little bit sketch. But it should be okay. So we'll go in like this for this medium run. After we get this medium run done in the wield, we'll go after the hag. I've got to level them up first, though. I mean, I could go after it right now. It is an option. It could be done. Viewpoint escaped last time. I don't know if bringing him is a good plan for this, though. It might be a better off, like, idea to bring, like, Dismas and then a healer. So this group right here could potentially take a shot at the Hag. If we lose this one, though, it's going to be real bad for us. If we, if we lose this fight, eh, it's going to be painful. It's going to hurt. Let me see if I can fix any of these people up with better stuff before we go in. Just like anything to make our lives a little bit easier. Dismas, what can you do? So crit base goes up, speed base. Let's see here. Crit base continues. Yeah, raise the damage up a little bit. Raise the damage up a little bit. For turn butt, let's get this guy built such that we can fight with... Oh, he actually doesn't even have the other attack. Okay. This is kind of like swinging for the fences right now. I don't know if this is going to work. If it doth not, then embarrassment will be mine. However, if it doth work, then forget it. This is going to be amazing. Anyways, let's embark. We need turn butt to have... Mark for death is not going to be good here. Hook and slice is not going to be good here. We want that. No, hook and slice is good. We want hook and slice. This is the build that we want for going up against the hag. I'm going to try and circumnavigate the mechanic entirely. If I can manage it. Come hither, I don't really care about. We'll leave that out for right now. Dismas, how are you looking? Point blank shot. That does move him back in the line, which is not so terrible of a plan for the hag. But we're sort of out of cash right now. So, yeah, let's just live with what we have for the time being. Let's go after it. I think this is, it might be winnable. We're definitely not taking our A team, but we're not taking our B team either. Maybe bring along her just to see if she can heal us through it since he's going to have a little bit more of like a oomph to make things happen. And then... Yeah, Dismas. This might work. We may max out on stress. I don't know. Let's find out. 
We're going straight for the boss, so unless we get a really, really bad room layout, we shouldn't need too many supplies. Let me make that divisible by four. There we go. Like, eh, we'll try and make some cash in here. But this is it. Like, if we mess this up, that's game. I suppose this counts as, like, attempt number two on the hag. This is, like, the perfect hag-killing group right here, so if you can make it happen... Oh, we got a really bad dungeon. It might be worth just running away now and saying forget it, but we'll lose a bunch of money. So let me see if I can get paid first. We got a, a really, really bad dungeon. Like, seriously. The dungeon that we got is absolutely the worst. Our chances of making it, the reason being, if you're wondering why... Why do we have so many torches? Did we just pick those up out of a box? Whatever. Anyways, we're just going to hustle for the boss. The reason being is that when you go on a boss attempt, what you want is the exact opposite of this dungeon right here. You want it to be more square-like with like a small thing coming off to the side where the boss is. If you get one of these where it's basically just a straight line all the way through, I actually wish the random generator couldn't do this. If you get something that's like a straight line all the way through, essentially you're almost guaranteed a failed boss fight just based on the stress that you're going to accrue before you get there. You might get lucky. You might get lucky, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't put too much faith on it. Let's go ahead and aim for the back lines for right now, get rid of the shooter. I think that... Confidence yeah, our judgment's looking good. We have no health missing, so there's no point healing. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna mark him for death, because they both have the mark for death ability, or they have collect bounty, and it makes them hit for a lot of damage. Like, seriously. Anybody that's marked is going to get their shit seriously annihilated by a... Like, it's almost, like, it's utterly mind-blowing how much damage this like these dudes can do on a marked target. Like, it's... Yeah, exactly. Right there. That's exactly what I'm talking about. And this is why the bounty hunter is such a ridiculous, just sloppy beast. The payoff is that they are not necessarily so amazing when faced with frontline combat. But we won't be doing frontline combat, will we? I should have healed right there. That was a mistake on my part. We have to make some money in case we have to run away. In case you were concerned about my decision making here. Eh, let's leave it for right now. I'm gonna hustle as best I can. I hate the way that it closes your inventory to open up the map. Like, cause it, I actually, this has happened, oh my god, okay, so that's bad. That's really bad, we're about to get, like, wrecked. We're about to get destroyed. I'm gonna start on you, I guess. See how many of these dudes we can destroy while we move her back in the line, but yeah, we're about to get, we're about to get hurtificated. Okay, Blanket Fire didn't crit, so that's a plus. Finish hims to the back line. I could use Hook and Slice, and we need her to move back. Although, unfortunately, that is going to hurt us right here with Dismas being in the wrong spot, too. Does he have anything he can use right now? Oh, he does. He has Open Vein. Okay. Yeah, just do that right there. That'll work for right now. These guys bleed. And keep moving back in the line. I am going to need to use some kind of heal here. Otherwise, it's not going to work. I'm thinking we pr will probably... I'm not going to get my hopes up for a boss attempt right now. Just not going to get my hopes up for it. Simply based on the fact that with the way things are going thus far... We have problems. And down he goes. Very, very nice. I just noticed that that rhymes. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade the polished blade. Yep. We're gonna go ahead and mark him up because it's a time. It's a turn passer, and then I'll have him step back for right now. I'm gonna go after a hit right there because I didn't think we were gonna kill him on this turn. But what I need is for people to get healed. So there's a six. Very very nice. She's upgraded slightly, so she should be able to make our lives a little bit easier in these fights. I hope, anyways. He's got take aim, but I'm going to open up a vein on him, and he should die before his turn. If we can get the blood off. Yeah, there it is. I was worried he was going to get another turn, and then we weren't going to have a chance to, like, rectify this. Let's maybe... Oof. This hag attempt. This hag attempt. Let's go four right there. We'll move her back. We'll move them back to the place that they go. We are susceptible to surprise right now. And we have band-aids. Throw those on her. And so now that she has been properly tended to, 
We got a fight, we got a trap, we got a couple of things coming up. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to make a hag attempt. We're probably going to have to evacuate before we get there. Stress is looking good. It kind of depends on how well we can do... Yeah, I'm making our rolls, too. Like, our luck has been bad. Like, that RNG right there, there's nothing I can do to affect that outcome aside from just, like, click it with the best character and hope that it works. I wish there was a mini game entailed with it or something that required some fashion of skill. Now we just have to hope that we don't get a bad fight, and we did get a bad fight, so... Our chances of healing ourselves here are somewhat limited. He... Yeah, he's death to it already. Facing the abyss. I went straight to the back line for Adadiga. Unfortunately. Throw a sixer on him. Try again with a little bit more aplomba this time. We still got these two up in the front. These are actually some of the worst mobs you can fight in the game. This enemy set right here, you're virtually guaranteed to take at least 40 stress. And like, at least, please don't die. Oh my god, we can't handle that right now. Like, we just cannot have a death at this moment. I'm going to start stacking bleeds on this dude, seeing if we can get rid of him. Stack that right there. If we lose a bounty hunter on a failed run, it's going to be troublesome. Let's get him off death's door. Yeah, this is going to be a failed run. We're going to try and stick it out as far as we can. And in so doing, that'll allow us to maybe make a little bit of money and level these guys up slightly. So it's not a complete and total loss, but we're not going to get a hag attempt in right here. I can almost promise it. Let's go for a big hit right there. I mean, we might be able to recover in just sort of like the weird chance that, you know, we get a bunch of crits, and then secondly, I can get people's health back up through... There we go. Three to everybody. That's nice. We're going to take a shank to the back row. Hopefully we don't get another bleed stack. Okay, so we got the resist right there. We have no stuns, so technically there's no way for me to, like, exacerbate this issue and make it last longer either. Our only stun is on our healer. Our utility is unfortunately very, very wanting at the moment because this is a specialized boss kill group. I don't cherish the thought. Let's continue with the heals. A two to everybody. There it is. So finally down, finally down. Remind yourself that a little bit of treasure and a little bit of good stuff right there. We have a grave plot. Let's look at it with somebody that's still, there's nothing of value inside. Okay, I'll take it. Let's continue forward. We've got a fight in the next room, guaranteed. It might be a decent plan. Let's risk it. It's a decent plan right now. If I was smart, what I would do. The holy water has a powerful effect. It gave him improved balance. 15% move resist. That's actually a major, major boon for him. That's good. That's really good. Open this bag up, see what we get. A map. A map which... This will actually... That's good. That'll allow us to plot this out a little bit better and figure out what we want to do with this. We've got a number of fights and a number of treasures. I'm going to try and take this as far as we can because as of right now, it is a wasted run if we run away. I didn't take chances in the hopes that we would get a better dungeon. We still have a campfire as well. So we're not undone just yet. We've got stun bugs in front of us. Okay. They have low health. I think I may just go for the kill, though. Two stuns is far more manageable than three stuns, so... Okay, so she dodged. I'm going to hope that she stays somewhat above ground so that we can get these things done. I'm going to try and kill all but one of them. There's a dodge, though, unfortunately. And keep these lovely little three AoE heals running around. We may still be able to do a boss attempt. It just kind of depends. The mark right there is already done. Grave nibbles out. Is it going to stun? She's going to resist. Good. Okay, so let's go ahead and stall for a little bit. We're nowhere near the end of this fight. And so in stalling, I think I can get some of our health restored. So that our camp may not have to focus on us only doing bandage abilities. I don't want to be looking like a mummy after all this. Oh, we got no treasure at all. A trifling victory indeed if it gave no treasure. Let's keep the torches lit. We got another scouting roll right there, which is going to unlock the next room. Lots of fights on the way in, but yeah, this is pretty much what you're hoping to not get when you go up against a boss run. Since we're probably going to break it off early... He got blighted. That's okay. His health is high. And then we got a bunch of these dogs, which have a ridiculously high dodge rate. 
Developers, you may have overtuned the dodge rate on the dogs a little bit. The dodge rate on the dogs is upper to 20%, so you're looking at baseline 60% chance to hit on these things. So, which means you miss a lot. Like, seriously, you're constantly missing with these things. You should probably focus, if you're going to try and be efficient about it, you should focus only on abilities that high, have a high hit chance. If you don't have those, then be prepared to be dodged. Be prepared. Additionally, they give you rabies, which is unpleasant on the face of it. Let's go with an AoE heal just to keep people stacked up for now. We're actually making headway on some of these heals, so I prefer... I expect to get dodged a lot in these fights. I had nine dodges in a row on one of these fights with the dogs one time. So there's two right there. We'll see if we can break the record. Yeah, I had nine dodges in a row in a fight with these dogs one time. It was special. And not with lepers. I'm talking about people with 90% hit chances. 90% hit chances. Nine dodges in a row. It's because their dodge rate is too high. The 20% is way, way, way over-tailored. There it is. Bring that thing home. Bring that thing home. Mounted on the wall. People might look at you weird if you have like a normal house dog mounted on your wall though. Keep AOEing! And Stressful Incantation is going to be a problem. He's going to dodge it though because that's just the sort of individual that he is. Let's take our freebie heal right here. He's up to full health which is nice. She's got a pretty good dodge rate too. Don't underestimate her ability to get out of the way. Hers is 13. Which is still pretty bad by comparison to most monsters in the game. I'm sorry, pretty good compared to it. Let's go ahead and we'll take a little bit of light radius here. Try and guarantee, ooh, this fight could get nasty real quick. But we got the surprise. We got the surprise. Alright. Let's go for an AoE right there. Go for a front kill with the crit. Well, we might be able to use this one as an attempt. We might be able to attempt the hag. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see how this all kind of like goes roundabout. We got a crit right there. Very good. And there it is. Got those OTKs going on. If you don't know what an OTK is, one turn kill. It's from turn based games where you utterly just like manhandle your opponent and they just get dealt with. We got another treasure room up here too. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'd like to camp before we go much further. As it stands right now, we do have a workable run going where we've made a little bit of cash. We're not totally ahead right now, but my suggestion would be that we camp soon. Maybe in this room. Because we're almost out of food. Or we not camp at all. That's the two options right now. Either we forego our camping, but I'd like to give people buffs if we can. Okay, another surprise. Good. Good, good, good. See, things can turn around in this game. You just gotta kinda like hang- Ooh, 666 six, six is the devil's shot right there. Let's go ahead and go for a kill on the first turn because I'd prefer it. I'd much prefer it. Oh, a dodge. Alright, alright. Dodge at the worst possible time. You'd think I'd learn. You'd think I'd learn. Her accuracy is just not what you would hope it would be most of the time. Escape Cloud. I would prefer not to go into this fight with a bunch of blighters. I would also love to not have a triple dodge right there, but what's done is done. What's done is done. Let's stay on them. Let's see if we can kill the guys in the back before they AoE our entire group. I'd like to get some AoE healing going because they're going to have to live through this Blight now. And I'd like to not go into the next fight with Blight, if that would be alright. The next fight with Blight, if that would be alright, I'd like to keep shit tight all through the night. And avoid any slights too, because honestly, I have a very, very fragile ego sometimes. It's it's a weakness. I work on it. I work on it in the hopes that one day I will not, but at least I'm aware of it on the plus side. Like some people, big ego and not aware of it. I try and keep it all in tune because I know that I have an ego and I try very, very dits. It's the struggle. Everybody's got their struggles. Mine is with hubris. And also, it used to be I used to have an anger problem when I was a kid too. When I was a kid, I used to fly off the handle all the time. It got me into all kinds of trouble. I used to lose my shit just. Uh, I just hulk out on people. Got that in- ooh. Alright. That's okay. I can live with it. I can live with it. So, Blight Bleed, Disease Resist. I'd rather have the Disease Resist since diseases tend to be permanent. An unlocked strong box. The contents are yours. I was hoping for food, but I'll take that. Let's go ahead and we're going to do a camping trip right here. And we're just going to hope that we don't get any further issues. So, 
I'm gonna have him clean his guns. Although, let's focus first on healing people that are wounded, I guess. For right now, this is how we do it. Let's give ourselves accuracy. Let's clean guns. Let's go for a blessing. Because we are gonna go after the hag, I think. I think we're gonna run up on it. I think we're gonna try anyways. And so... Next, we have three left. I'm gonna go with band-aids on him. We don't have much of another option, and I think that's going to leave us with nothing else to do. So, with the momentary respite, let us hope that we don't get attacked in our sleep. It may happen, though, so be aware. We took no, we took no thought towards it, because we didn't really have any options. There it is. So we're actually probably going to take a lot of damage and stress right here that may preclude us from the hag fight. Definitely going to preclude us from the hag fight. By the time we rearrange our lines, we're going to be pretty much undone here. Unless we get lucky and dodge a lot. I don't know. I'm a big one for the hopelessness. I don't know if you all realize that. In real life, I'm a hopeful... Actually, let's go after her. Hook and slice. If we can get a bleed into her, that's fine by me. The question now is, do I rearrange the line? Do I rearrange the line? Finish her. There we go. Got her. Got her, got her, got her. This may not be so bad. We've been rearranged, but actually our group shows remarkable resilience when it comes to being rearranged. It might not be so bad. It might not be so bad. Let me get some heelsies up in here. Yeah! That's my girl. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. I appreciate it. A 20 damage crit right there to offset any of the stress. Ah, Never mind. I love the bounty hunter. The bounty hunter is such a G in this game. He really sincerely is. Probably one of the best class like classes, hands down unequivocally like the best probably in the top two I don't even know who I would have up against him though in the contest now we sort of got to hope that we don't get okay he actually resisted good it's actually got a bug right there where it doesn't display if you you're supposed to show a resist right there it gives you a permanent debuff but he resisted it so we've got to hustle right now to get to the hag if we're gonna make an attempt because we are ooh, once again one of the worst fights you can get in terms of both stress and damage. Alright, well, with 80%, Machalt... Oh no, she has slow draw. Straight to the back line with you then. We're gonna try and get rid of him before anything else goes wrong. On this side, flag the big dude up for later. So that we can munch and crunch on him. Slice and dice, hope for no crit. Okay, so no crit, we're good. On this side, hope... Oh, I misclicked! Shit! That was a mistake, so now what I need to do is we're going to go after him and hope for no dodge. Okay. So now, actually, our chances have gone up. Point blank shot. Oh, Jesus. 22 damage? Oh, man. Alright, well, return fire. We got a crit of our own right here, but he's on death's door. Oh, he's going to do it again. Oh, he made his roll! Oh my god, okay, so he made his roll, alright. The, right now, I really dislike the way the speed system works in this game. How it's totally random, essentially, and then you just get, like, a bonus. But, what we need to do right now is we need to get him up and running before the fight with the hag, otherwise it's gonna be short and unpleasant. He's marked, so this should be quick. Keep the damage going, just in the off chance, but yeah, like I said, one of the most damaging fights you can have right here. I'm actually going to have him move around in the line. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Why is she having, like, the last turn so consistently? Come on now. I need big heals right now. We need to get, like, back up and running before we go into the hag. See, like, that's okay. I can take that damage. That's cool. Like, I'm fine with that. But for right now... If only treasure could staunch the flow of... Otherworldly corruption. So I can't use that from right here. Let's go ahead and ditch that because it's not that good anyways. We'll take this. Hey, there we go. We'll use it on her to get rid of her bleeding. And then we'll throw that in. I don't keep a lot of the trinkets because they're not that good. I just, I don't like them that much. Let's, is it nothing of value inside? I was fishing that we might get some food or something out. I don't know, everybody. I don't know. This is a risk. This is a very, very real risk for us right now. We got the Hellion Pendant, and we got some medicinal herbs. Neither of which is something that I'm going to bring along, I don't think. 
Got this right here. Do we have any shovels left? We do. I don't think we used up any shovels, actually. Well, there you go. Now the question becomes, do we do the hag attempt? Oh, this is so, so, we were ready for it. We were ready for it, and this is so speculative now. It depends on who she puts into the pot first. Let's do it. I see no point dithering. Twisted and maniacal. A slathering testament to the powers of corruption. We can run away if this gets really out of hand. And we do have the opportunity to heal early, so maybe she'll take a... Who's going into the pot? Oh, good! It was actually... Okay, so that's not so terrible. I can deal with that. That's good. He's actually going to be in there for a while, too, so this gives us... Really, really do cause it to sort of, like, DPS the back line now. This is the recommended strategy that I would say you should run against Hag. Just throwing it out there. Essentially just straight to the back line with her. Ignore the mechanic entirely and just go after it. Get after it. The mark is not really going to help us right now, I don't think. We've almost got her at half health on the first turn. She's going to throw out Meat Tenderizer, which does a lot of damage, but is dodgeable on the plus side. Taste the Stew is going to stack up some stress. Hopefully we can resist long enough to where we don't break, because if we break, that's also going to be pretty tentative for us. Let's keep a big heal on him in case one of them goes into the pot. If I can't have stress, I'll take healing. 20 crit right there. Very nice. Exactly the sort of thing that we needed at this moment. Come on. I'm not going to strike the pot. Sorry, bud. I got nothing for the pot right now. Double crit. There it is. Hell yeah. There it is. Bring this thing home. Take this bitch out of my periphery. Let's go. Let's get her out of here. Let's finish it. Oh, I get into it now. Get into it now. Yep, forget your mechanic. Forget your mechanic. I ignore it. It means nothing to me. Dumped out of the pot, and there it is. I think we're done, actually. It dies if she's not alive. Got ourselves a Grave Robber Talisman, the same one that we already have. We got ourselves a Vestal Relic. Hell yeah. Let's take that. That's going to give her 10 heal received. I wish it gave 10 heal given as well, because we're starting to get to the point where it'd be useful. No Grave Robber with us, but we'll get rid of the Disease Pendant. There it is. Mission completed. Everything concluded. What's she got? In oh, really? There's nothing in there? Is it booby-trapped? I hope it's not booby-trapped. Okay, the contents are ours. We got an occult relic. We got sapphires. The occult relic is not so bad, especially if we're going to lose these anyways, bring it back with us. There we go. And so that's the hag, and this is the recommended strategy that I say you should use. It's the easiest way to beat her. Just ignore her mechanic entirely. Let's see what we got out of it. Hopefully we got good results. Such a stressful run, too. I apologize for the banter about giving up, but I'm a hopeless person when it comes to video games. In real life, I'm a ray of sunshine, but in video games, I'm just like, all is lost! All is lost, let us run from this place. Flee! Flee, lest we all die! Alright, and so there it is. We made good money. Let's hope that we didn't get totally and completely just... Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. Two out of four for the negatives and four out of four for the positives. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerdcastle for the next episode where we defeated the hag. I look forward to seeing you all in future episodes. Take care, everybody.